So welcome everybody, welcome to Energy Play Shop number 31. Today is the first play shop of 2023 and today is January the 19th. Welcome back, it's been a good um, vacation for me. Taking a few weeks off just to catch up on the other things that I want to do. And actually I took quite a few um, <clears throat> workshops uh, online workshops and hopefully in the, the coming weeks I'll be able to share some of them with you. And um, somebody asked just before I started recording, what's the energy like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the energy has been just off the chart from what I can feel. It's like, um, like it used to be if I want to um, meditate, it, it may take me I don't know, 15, 10, 15 minutes just to get into the state and where I can actually feel my, um, my, my, my chakras started uh, uh, being aligned and all that. Now the energy is so high is like I just have to like it just stop for for a few seconds and really have the intention to center myself. <clears throat> I actually already feel my chakras realigning. So that's that's how intense the energy is, which is actually a good thing, which means that if you if you want to um it's if you have the intention and your intention is really to be more centered and focused and to be more mindful, it's so easy now. The, the, the energy is really supporting that. Um, on the other hand, <laughs> if you haven't quite uh, done your homework yet and you, um, you may find that it's very easy to get um, irritated nowadays. It does not take much for uh, somebody else to um, just get in your face and um, trigger you. So that's the kind of energy we have now. Thank and, you. And, and it's not going to get easier. <laughs> it's just going to get more intense and more intense. And it's because the energy... Um, <clears throat> it's supporting us to get to the point where we really can become authentic. So we don't even need to think. We just, from uh, our uh, the center of our own being, we just be. So that's why the energy is this way. So it's so that's why um, you really have to have a practice, meaning that when you feel triggered. You just have to um, really be mindful and intentional to release whatever the the emotions um, that that's being triggered, and also all the beliefs that's supporting you being continually triggered. So, but um, that's why the energy is so intense. It's really to push everything up in your face so that you look at it, and once you look at it and let it go and let it be. Um, let go of the 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 reason why you get triggered. And once you do that, then it the energy dissipates. And so next time when something similar comes up, you you don't get triggered. You can act instead of react. So that's what the energy is doing. So it's a little interesting. <laughs> Intense and interesting. <clears throat> Any other questions before we begin? This uh, this play shop is really about sound healing. So, anything? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask, uh, do you join this Kimberly's group? Franco's Kimberly group. Uh, about talking. She just sent an email. Yes, yes. You yeah, can... You've been... you can I've I've joined already. I've I've been on that group for a while. So um, yeah, that's what I was asking. So what do they do? Just discuss and then listen to Franco. Um. Sometimes, sometimes we do. Sometimes we just. So what what that group does is it really brings you know whatever is uh, let's say if you get triggered then 
and you can't really shake it, then you can bring it up and, and we can, uh, within the group, other people can can assist you in um, looking okay. at it in different ways from different mm -hmm. um, yeah, points of view. So, yeah. so that's why it's called Let's Talk About you. It is yeah. really to, for that. She didn't put the timing in the first email and then I asked her and she said it's seven to nine. She just said recently sent out an email to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a conflict between Lucy's and her. So I told Lucy, I said maybe she should change hers to alternate date <laughs> for the bridging. <laughs> uh, um, Kim Lee's uh, Franco's um group is every other Wednesday. Yeah, that's what I told Lucy. Rather than having hers and Danny's every Wednesday, change it to the other alternate so then I can attend both because <laughs> I like the bridging program yesterday we had it at eight so it was very nice so this is saying especially for you because <laughs> you're worth it I said thank you mm -hmm. okay so it was at seven I finished my qigong at seven yeah so it's just very good even yesterday in our qigong class there were more people and and um, it was really high. Yeah. Roxana, can we can we get back to uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That are Okay, sorry about that. I uh, because mm -hmm. we are, I have uh, I I have um limited time, so that's why I just want to rein it in. Oh good. Okay. Any anything any I would say uh, any questions, questions yeah. before we get back to before we can questions okay <laughs> let's let's start the 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 play shop then so this is sound healing healing with sound so um <clears throat> so the the um, I would say the 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 agenda is we're gonna do a brief um, presence meditation, and then we'll go right into it. So welcome everybody, welcome back to the podcast. So let's just go right into the presence meditation. So just everybody, just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go. Take one more deep breath in. It's really big deep breaths. And slowly let out that breath. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for your body. And each time you breathe in, breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that is distracting you and not allowing you to be present in this moment. And just do this breathing in infinite possibilities and letting go of any distractions for a few more breaths. And each time as you breathe out and let go of anything and everything that is distracting you from this moment, just feel yourself coming back inside your body. During the day, we send out our 
attention to our surroundings, to the people, places, and events outside of ourselves right now. Just bring them all back in to yourself. Be absolutely very selfish. Just focus all of your attention and intention on yourself. And believe me, you are so worth your own attention. And really feel your own attention, energy, and intention being in your body. Feel that love. Attention is love. Feel that love that you have for yourself. That acknowledgement that you are worth paying attention to. Anything that is taking you out of yourself, just let it all go. This moment is for you and you alone. And as you place your intention, attention, and all of your energy back into yourself, Feel yourself being a lot more grounded and really feel yourself, not from your mind, but from your whole being. And just feel that inner core of yourself, your heart, your solar plexus, that inner core of yourself being totally connected and grounded to your beingness. And feel that as you breathe in all of the infinite possibilities, that those infinite possibilities are going into your beingness, supporting you in this moment. And you feel yourself becoming more present, more of who you truly are. And when you feel the core of yourself being activated, and become more present. Then you can take in one big, deep, long breath. And come all the way back into the room. Being totally present to yourself. So welcome back, everybody. Thank you for taking time to be present to who you truly are, the beautiful, magnificent you. So let's begin today then. Okay, so oops, I just want to let's begin today. Um, <clears throat> so healing with sound. Something that I I um, came across recently, <clears throat> which really resonate with me, is that light informs and sound transforms. Um, a lot of the times when we go out in the sunshine, we are actually soaking in, uh, at least I'm very 
when I go out in the sun, I'm very um, intentional of getting in all that light coats from the sun. That's that's my intention every time I go out mm -hmm. when the sun is out. And I feel that, that information coming in and sound transforms. And um, I think for, for a while now, I kind of forgot about that because um, I... <laughs> Being more of the, um, I, I would say, being more of the thinking person that I am, um, that I, I gravitate more to information healing. So a lot of what Sifu James has been teaching us is information healing. For example, when we turn, when we tune into a certain frequency, let's say um, eight hundred hertz frequency which is the um far infrared it's it's a healing um frequency so that's information and that information knowing that information and applying it in a certain way can heal the body and that is information healing however their information healing is not the only kind of healing sound healing is also a very um, very potent form of healing, and um, the and I remember the first time I got like really present to how awesome sound healing was was um, maybe about how many years ago? Um, it's maybe about seven, you know, like six, seven years ago. I was. I was at a yoga retreat and one of the uh, therapists that was um, available was a sound healer and she's a beautiful lady. Um, and what's her name? I think her name is Kim, something like that. So I think her that's her, her name is Kim. Um, I forgot her last name, but she's she was um, offering me a, a session and at the first half of the session is really she talking to me and really trying to find out where I am in my life's journey and all of that and then and then when she has kind of know where I am and what it is that I really need in terms of healing then what she did was ask me to lie down on um, a just to lie down and then she actually com composed right there and then using all of the different um, crystal bowls that she has and it only lasted for maybe about a minute uh, she she kind of played this music for me and it was for about a, a minute not not long at all but the the crystal bowls that she used was so pure the sound was was just absolutely i think she she picked just the right combination for me and and it was a good thing that i was lying down because i couldn't prop i could not possibly have set up or let alone stand up i was totally bowed over like i couldn't move for the next 15, 20 minutes, I, my body was just, has to lie, I have to be lying down to just um, allow my body to uh, integrate all of that sound healing. And it was absolutely a um, transformational session for me. And I, I just, I love her ability. Her, it's the pure artistry that she did that. I uh, I myself does not have that kind of um I would say genius in just spontaneously knowing which crystal bow to and how hard to um, hit it in order to get the right sound and all of that. There's just so much skill in it. So that was a beautiful experience, and that was my one of the introduction of of sound healing that I personally experienced and I still remember how profound it, it was for me up until this moment 
So what I am sharing with you um, in this session is, of course, not even close to what I experienced. So I'm just um, bringing some of the, 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 the ways that I see that we can use sound. So let me just share screen again. So first I want to talk about how come sound healing is so effective. There's something called, uh, there's a, um, an art or a, a sign, science, I guess it's science and art. It's called cymatic. It's really how, it's a study of how sound affects matter. And believe it or not, or not sound absolutely affects matter and no one is immune to that. If you can, if any, you can just uh, remember that in the Bible, it says that in the beginning, there is the word, something like that. Of course, I, I haven't read the Bible for eons. I'm just paraphrasing some of that. So in the beginning, there's a sound. And the sound is, is, is a word. So a word um, is, is really about sound. So it is kind of letting us know how transformational sound is. Sound really is the creator of um, or the transformer of matter. So sound is absolutely amazing. And I actually want to share. Um, so there are some things. <clears throat> oh, actually, this is this is what I want to share. So this is um, something that I would just play this a little bit so we can look at it together. So this is sound affecting water. So when it's turned off, it when it's turned on, the water just changes shape. So that is what sound can do to water. And here is another instance of how sound can transform men. So this is really, um, these white things are really um, water mixed with some flour, uh, a corn flour. And so it's, it's a thicker um, liquid than just pure water. And when you, when you put this thicker material to certain frequency, they jumped out. They, they really moved. They started moving and having different shapes and morph around. So that is really what sound can do for us. And if you imagine that, um, because, well, we don't really have to imagine much, just to let you know that your body is about like 80, 90% water and all of the other um, material within your body, you can think of it as a little bit like that, um, like, like blood is definitely a little bit thicker than just pure water. And so when you hear sound, that is what is happening inside your body. Each one of your cell is being affected. <clears throat> so no one is immune. Everyone's um, cell, because it has water in it. So it affects how we are. And there's actually different studies that talk about scientific studies that I want to share. Um, okay. So <laughs> I'm just trying to move this. It's not quite I'm letting me move this. Okay, let me see. Okay. <clears throat> mm, okay, so this is uh, so music, medicine, sound at cellular level. It's a TED talk by Dr. Lee Battelle. And um, Lee is, or Dr. Battelle 
is a um, Canadian scientist, and I think he um, he actually let me um, find that TED talk for you. So, anyway, so what he he has been doing different scientific um, studies on sound and how sound can be used to heal our body. This is the one of the um, the ways that he used sound. So this whole bed it has has um, amplifiers and um, those things being embedded into this bed. And when a client or a patient lie on it for a certain period of time and a certain um, frequency of music is being piped into that person, he is studying how that works and changes and heals the body. So I don't want to go through the um, his whole talk. You, it's it's here that you can all um, just go through the whole video yourself. But anyways, in the very it's in a nutshell, this is what he is uh, has been able to find out is that like there are different different um hertz or different frequency of energies can affect human beings and he was so brain circuits what he was able to determine is that we have um neurons within our body and our and within our body there are different circuits the brain circuits. So there are different circuits for uh, or circuits, meaning that there are um, combinations of the, the brain within the brain, different areas of the brain combined together would um, be able to let us know that we are in pain, for example. So there are pain circuits and then there are cognition circuits and then there are memory circuits motor mood limbic so all of these there are different circuits within our brain and healthy circuits uh, are really um, required for the brain waves to be able to recognize when we are in pain or when we have um, uh, how our memory is being um, either long-term memory or short-term memory how the memory can come together or not so all of these are really being um, affected through the brain waves and he specifically he found that at 40 hertz which is within the gamma rays the the, the gamma hertz that's the um at 40 hertz that's when it's most conducive for our brain's neurons to become able to work together, which is being connect, um, connect, connected together. So he has a study of Alzheimer patients and, and at 40 hertz. So they're showing that when they try to study the, the brain waves of Alzheimer patients, that they have a decrease in the 40 hertz brain waves. And so the, the, the um, experiment is, what if we give these patients the, the 40 hertz brain waves, what will that do? Because that's what's lacking um, in the brain waves. So there is this um, one, he actually started with one patient and then when he, he have a success with just one patient, he was able to get a, um, a group study of, I think it's maybe about 40 patients together. So the treatment was to have 30 minutes of 40 Hertz acoustic treatment twice. So two times a week for three weeks. So it's all together just about three hours of treatment. And that alone was able to improve like 13% improvement of all categories of memory, mood, and cognition, uh, and the person and, and the patients uh, are able to show improvements in all of this.
and there has been long-term studies of um, how this this treatment is, and it I don't I don't think that they have any um, success in reversing Alzheimer's. However, these acoustic treatment can certainly slow down or at the uh, or even um, stop any decline for an Alzheimer client. So this is, of course, um, really good. And it does not just work on Alzheimer's for fibromyalgia patient as well. So there is this one client she, um, he has that has, um, is pretty bad. Uh, like in terms of so fibromyalgia, there's a scale of one to 20, 20 being the worst. So this particular client was kind of um, at 17 out of 20, which means it's, it's, it's fairly an, a, advanced in terms of fibromyalgia. And she was on medication, has pain all over her body, can um, have trouble sleeping, feeling depressed, cannot really sit or stand in, in um, any long period of time. So, so she's rather restless. So, the, the treatment for her uh, was 23 minutes of 40 hertz acoustic treatment. So acoustic treatment is if you um, remember, I showed you that that um, kind of is, let's see, this one here? No, no, this one. So it's like this, just lying down um, and with the, 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 feeling this vibration of 40 hertz all over her body. So that's that's what the treatment is. So for 23 minutes, she was lying down and the 40 hertz acoustic uh, treatment is, is going on. And she did this for two times a week for five weeks. And at the end of five weeks, she was able to just stop using all the medications because she does not need it anymore. She was able to sleep better feel less depressed and more mobility. So because she does not have pain in her body, so she was able to move around or be able to stand or sit or so be able to regain a lot of her mobility. So why fibromyalgia works? Why, why this 30, 40 hertz walk works on it? It's because fibromyalgia, if you look at the brain of, or of a fibromyalgia patient, um, you can't really see it. In, in, in So there is not really, if you look at the body, there's not a lot of, of um, you can't really find anything wrong with the body. The only thing that is, that accounts for it is that there is disruption in the parts of the brain that is um, that really governs pain. So the pain circuits are being disrupted. And when she was um, treated with 40 hertz acoustic treatment for a period of time, she was able to in increase that 40 hertz brain wave in herself. And so this the sound healing have a lot of different application. So it treats depression, Parkinson's, bone cell density can be increased, um, blood flow applications, which can reduce the impact of stroke or heart failure. So, so the conclusion is that stimulating the cells with sound can reduce risk and impact of health problems. And of course, um, the, this is just the beginning of a study of how sound can impact our, our body. There's a lot more things that can be done. And we're just starting to scratch the surface of it. So the other thing I want to talk about is really something that is called binaural beats. So what are binaural beats? Beats. Um, I think you all have 
probably heard something about binaural beats in that you um, you have to listen to it in with a headphone because the the beats on the right side and the beats on the left side is si slightly out of sync. And when you hear things that are slightly out of sync um, from different ear, your brain has to um, your brain has to actually work and be able to synchronize both so that you can come up with a third beat, uh, a, a third kind of uh, music. And that synchronizing of the brain is what would start to make the brain um, work together. So binaural beats have been you have been used for a while now uh, for um, decreasing stress, for cognitive learning, just to be more focused and all of that. So there's a lot of different music that's being composed. And I think um, it, Franco has this as some of his his um, meditations have binaural beats in the background. Um, so, or some of them used to have it. I, I don't think he did it all the time, but I remember some of his recordings have binaural beats in the background, especially the ones that are um, from his earlier workshops. And they do have a binaural beats in the background. So I've been talking for a while now. So just checking in. How's everybody? Good. Good. Any really? questions? Any questions? Comments so far? Yeah, I have a comment. I, I know a lady that um, she she went, she was a singer. She liked to sing and she, she went in um, in labor. And um, just by <clears throat> chance, she started to tone, like do toning with her th her her throat to like just make sounds. Mm -hmm. And she found brought a lot of like it reduced the pain in her delivery. Oh wow, cool! Yeah, yeah. Just just by happen chance, she just happened to find that, and it she was really impressed by that. Just and she was a singer, so it was kind of natural for her to do that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it does work. It absolutely does work. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is that is cool. Thank you for sharing that. It's um that really that's why um like sound is such a powerful transformer of our body. So. <laughs> <clears throat> And and we're just we're just at the starting stage of exploring how sound can heal. Of course, <laughs> we've been focusing so much on pills and chemicals, how to use those to to heal the body. But we and and now we are starting to, or the the scientists is starting to look into alternatives like sound. And also light, light can also heal as well. I, I, I remember I, you, a while back I had um, healing light. Yeah, so different, different um, frequency of light can heal aches and pains in the body. Mm -hmm. So, any other questions before I move on? No questions. No? Okay, great. Let's keep going then. So, this is all of this, all of these things are really how we can start to heal our own body now um maybe not all of us would be able or 
are really handy enough to be able to um, create something like the, uh, what's that? This one, yeah. Um, Next Neuro Lounge. <laughs> Not everybody is handy enough to be able to create this for ourselves or have access to this. However, it's, I now I want to start to talk about things that we can do for ourselves. So because we are here to talk about um, healing. So let me see. Okay, here it is. So, so 40 hertz. We can actually just, all we have to do is just go on YouTube and find 40 hertz music. And that we can we can easily do now and and I just this this is just one of them I have found quite a few other ones that are 40 hertz so this is um, by no means the only one that's available there are so many others that you just have to pick one for yourself so what I want to do now is actually to um allow all of you to hear a little bit of that. And let's just go into a bit of meditation using the 40 Hertz. The 40 Hertz can uh, like, and just, I would say the, because this, these are, this is a binaural beats. So it's best if you can listen to this with headphones on so that it forces your own brain to work in a certain way. However, just by listening to it without headphones, for me, I can feel my head tingling already. So just feel, just feel. Now, if you don't have headphone handy, no problem. Just feel it. So, okay. So I'm just going to put this music on for not for long, maybe just a um, couple of minutes minutes just to uh, yeah. <laughs> we have to get through the the advertisement first so give it a few more seconds okay now it's started so just take a deep breath in everybody take a deep breath in it's already going in the background Continue to just follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And let it go. Just hear this 40 hertz. And just feel how your body feels. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, let me uh, let me do this then. You guys hear it now? Perfect. breathing in slowly and breathing out slowly. Just feel how that 40 hertz music is affecting you or not.
deep breath in and let it all go. And Did everybody hear? Yeah. I couldn't hear anything. You couldn't hear anything. Oh. I've heard that um, vibration. Yeah. Okay. And it's actually, I feel not pleasant on my uh, occipital cusp in the center and it went down. It's like, yeah. it's like a pain. I don't know what happened with my video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. Let me, uh, let me just. I, I felt the vibration too across my forehead. I felt, I felt a little bit unwell. Okay. <laughs> I I felt the vibration. It was very nice and pleasant, so I enjoyed it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I felt pulsing in my head. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's just maybe about one or two minutes. And you can imagine if you do that for like 15, 20 minutes. It's definitely going to shift something. So hang on. Ah, interesting. <clears throat> Let me just do the sharing again. And, um, okay, great. So this is just one of the experiments. There are other ones that I want you all to actually take a look at. Um, actually, let's um, let's actually talk a little bit about. So um, some of you feel discomfort, right? I'm just wondering um, if you feel discomfort, what that could be. I felt nauseous. I mean, you felt nauseous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I also, I felt like it headache started on my the back of my head interesting mm -hmm. actually i would in that case i would suggests you um, let's try something else this that is the 40 hertz let's try a higher frequency we shall see whether it's worse or not okay. so I actually have one that is a higher frequency let me see which one this one okay let's let's try this one website business so let's let the uh, ads go first. Ah, more ads. Okay. <laughs> and skip the ad. Can't really skip the ads. And you know, sometimes there's a little box. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so these are higher frequencies.
it's kind of short, but just uh, want to get some feedback. Yeah, my upper uh, torso was vibrating with the the do 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 sound. Though I was listening to all the other sounds, but only that that the uh, background little thing constant that mm -hmm. was making my whole torso upper torso vibrate like. Okay, and any any uh, headaches or no, not the no. big fan? I can say that this one I love because I started to release something. It's <laughs> okay. it was beautiful. This one I love it. Okay, cool. I'm not a fan. I wasn't a fan of it either. It, it was it was heavy on the head, but it was so irregular. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it either. Uh, I liked <laughs> the background, but the choir sort of uh, sound, <laughs> I didn't uh, enjoy. Mm -hmm. What was this one called? What was that one called? Um, Sofetio, Sofetio um, by Nao Rubis. So Sofetio is um, it's a certain um, hertz, like three six nine, like um, two one eight, um, four one six, four one seven. So. So it's a, I don't know the, uh, the um, exact explanation of what Sofetio is. I just know that it is certain frequencies. Like the 40 hertz one, I have listened sometimes to things like that. And it didn't, uh, I didn't somehow like it. I like the ones which have the meditation ones like, you know, which just, Play the music in the background. Mm -hmm. I can fall asleep with that. <laughs> and healing. healing, yeah. Uh, Forty hertz can actually. Um, I couldn't hear at all. Anything. Can help with uh, sleep, actually. It can. <laughs> it can. No, but I have heard some binaural beats, uh, things, and I, some some resonate and some don't. Mm hmm Okay. So it's, I think this one that I picked has no background music, nothing like that. So it's just pure binaural beats. So maybe the ones that are, that have some more pleasant music would be more suitable for some of you. Like for me, they, they don't, they don't affect me. No. Okay, so the that is really um, climatic. Something that I would introduce, but it's really up to all of you individually whether you want to explore more of that. And um, what I want to continue on actually is to really talk about so all of these different frequencies can affect our body for health reasons. But of course, my, my own um, emphasis is on consciousness, on raising consciousness. So now I want to talk more about the, the raising consciousness, how, what kind of frequency, what kind of sound can en like enhance, I would say, consciousness. So now I want to share with you all something else then. And uh, let's see, which one is it? This one. Okay. So this is OM. Let me just. Okay. <laughs>
so that's what it, it actually looks like. It's it's beautiful. I I love that. <clears throat> Visually beautiful. And I remember um, so a story that I have an experience of um, this Om chanting in terms of healing was um, a a workshop that I attended. I forgot how long ago now. It's maybe about 10 years now, around there. So that um, within that, that um, it is, what is it called? It's called Illuminating the Sacred Heart. So that is the, that is the, the workshop's name. So one of the healing ceremony that we did is groups of maybe about um, six, like six or seven people will come together. So one person would be in the middle, <clears throat> lying down, and the other uh, five or six people would place the hand on the person that is lying in the middle. Um, they may be touching their arm or touching um, the head or their feet. So with one or both hands of each of the participant touching the hands or the, the feet or the head of that person, we would all in a circle chant Om. I think each person gets maybe about 20 minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes, I forgot the, the length of time now, of this group of people surrounding them chanting Om to, to kind of surround that person's body. <clears throat> And at the end of that, a, of, of that is, and then the ceremony is at the end of that, is that this, the person would start to emerge, to come out of the cocoon, just like they were first being born again. So that was the ceremony and it was beautiful and uh, lots of um, different healings came out of that. And that was a healing um, ceremony that is using OM, just chanting OM with our sound. No need for any um, singing bowls, no need for any, any kind of instruments. It's just using everyone's sound, what we have all by ourselves. So that was... <clears throat> beautiful healing ceremony and that's something that you um each of each of you can can do that um in, like you you can't really simulate having six or seven people surround you however i've done what i've done just on my own is actually just do chanting is you can pick any i would say any chant that you like so just om just very simple just the om sound chant over and over again for i would say it takes maybe about 20 15 20 minutes at least if you can do it for half an hour that is even better is to just do that and really feel the the shift and change within your body when you do that for yourself is phenomenal so um i think i posted on facebook <clears throat> a couple of days ago what i did was emilia benz uh, has a posted a uh, chant that she did and it's called connecting with higher self with the highest self chant. So I was just putting that in the background and just chanting along with her. I did it for, I didn't do the whole, the whole video. The whole video was about, I think 45 minutes or maybe 50 minutes long, but I did at least 30 minutes of it. And after 30 minutes, it was like, I, I definitely have a, had a healing. Because I could, I could feel it. I could just feel that I'm like, my whole body was just vibrating very differently, and I could feel some of the um, 
I have a little bit of, of um, something on my left eye that's been an ongoing thing. And after I did that chanting, my left eye was just cleared. So, so there was, that was definitely a, I wouldn't say miraculous because it is just, it is really um, sound healing. And that's something that we can do. We don't need anything. We don't need to play an instrument. We don't need any singing bowl, nothing like that. Just our own sound can do that. And the scient the the scientific part of that is that you know the the you can you've seen the ohm sound when it's being when you can visually see what it does. That is really what when you do it chanting, that's what you're doing to your own body. Um, at forty hertz, it's it heals the 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 body at one level. When you do the own chanting because it's you're using your own voice. It's a very different pitch. And also because your own voice really is um, resonate with your whole, your whole body. So when you use that, when you use your own voice to, to do the chanting, to, to um, create that healing chamber for yourself, it is, next level i think that's 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 the the best way i can describe it so i highly encourage all of you to do that should you think you need some healing or even if you don't think you need healing is if you want to see what it feels like to have coherent thought because when you when you um, use your voice consistently whether you're chanting om or whether you are doing some other um, chant of your own choosing the intention of that chant that is within that chant you carry it throughout your own, own body so om is the sound of creation so that is something that you can do for yourself any uh, questions, comments about that? Yeah. In India, that's what they do in temples and all. They sing the hymns. Uh, they are called bhajans. And I think that's the idea behind that. But I never looked at it like that. So it's, thank you for showing that. Yeah. They, they have like, uh, like just now in the Om, how the one person says starts and then the others repeat. That's what they do in all the singing. There is one singer and then the other, all the groups say, repeat the words. Mm -hmm. And I used to sit in the meditation like that, but I never even thought of the, what it was actually doing to my body. <laughs> yeah. I just wasn't aware even. My mother always used to write, why don't you join the group? They are they have them in Toronto. You should go for this and that. I was not interested at that time. <laughs> you don't have to join a group if you don't feel like it. Like just in your own home. home. Yeah. You yeah. That. Yeah. Like you she would, yeah. You can absolutely but, do that. Just just like the energy, like in a group, it it uh, has more effect like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it, ideas. Yep, the idea because okay. when you're in a group, I I've been to group chanting as well. When you're mm -hmm. in a group, you can um, feel the effects faster. It That's it right. does not take as long. So when you're just doing it at home, it may take you a little longer. However, like uh, after about 20, 20 minutes or so, you will definitely feel it. Like if you can do it like 30 minutes, 40 minutes is even better. So um, whether you are in a group or just by yourself, just chanting, using your own voice, you can heal yourself. Um, if there is anything in particular 
that you want to heal. Because when I was doing that chanting a couple of days ago, I have no, I actually have no um, intention. I just want to, I just want to do meditation and I don't want to use my, like usually when I do meditation, I just, I just close my eyes <clears throat> and just was in my own mind. Whereas like that, that particular day, I just thought, okay, I don't want to be in my own mind. I just want to be. So I just used that chanting and it was, <laughs> I think I opened up a portal. Because <laughs> yeah. even, even hours after that, even like days after that, I could still feel the effects of it. So that, um, so that's why it was like, okay, I'm convinced because I have, I have that experience myself. I could just mm -hmm. feel that effects. So that's why I want to encourage each and every one of you is I can talk till I'm blue in the face. However, if you don't try it, if you don't, um, if you're not interested in it, then <clears throat> you don't benefit from it. If you want to use sound healing, you don't need any equipment. Just <clears throat> Pick a, a, a sound, pick OM or whatever mantra that you like, and just do that. Even, even okay. singing, you know, singing anything, I think, would raise your vibration too. If it's something that you like and you do it, because it does, it does change our mood when we sing or do mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm, that's so it's a form. Why... It's a form of sound too. Yeah, it's your own sound. Yeah, that that's why um, be very selective about the music that you hear because yeah, the music can um, really entrain your body. So if the music is a high vibration music, you feel expanded whereas if it's you know if 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 it's heavy metal then your body actually feels more disconnected after it yeah. so. i can't even stand that sound <laughs> <laughs> nowadays our tolerance is there yeah so we yeah. can't even take that <clears throat> yes so everything is um everything is vibration and sound is because it is it is really it affects our body so easily that's why it's um it's the best medicine and that's about all i want to say this evening mm -hmm. is to just introduce um this to to all of you and like feel free to uh, I can I can definitely send you the the videos that I've used and mm. just put it out in the in an email so you can start to take a look at them and if you're interested explore more and and just go to town <laughs> however you want to explore if uh, sound healing is something that intrigues you if you want to improve your memory then uh, go and experiment with 40 hertz find other tracks with 40 hertz that really works with your body so. <clears throat> any other comments questions No, okay. In that case, let's um, let's do meditation. You guys ready for meditation? Yes. 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 yes.